Alright, we're on to our second piece. We've laid our first piece on there. I'm going to show you how to pull this backing off. Basically, just start at the corner and just peel this away. Make sure you've got your piece oriented, you know, up and down. A lot of these pieces have the, uh, the name of the camouflage on them. So you can look at that and make sure it's running the direction you want. Just peel this back about four or five inches all the way across the top. And then you can just fold this back, put a crease in it. And just go all the way down this side, pulling this open. We'll just lay this crease down. And then we'll be ready to put it on the side of the boat. We'll pick it up here from the corners. And we'll lay it up here on the side of our boat. We want to overlap about an inch to two inches. We'll stick that corner down. Hold it across here just like a straight edge. Stick this corner down. Oops. It comes loose at that end. Stick that down again. Alright. There we go. Now once you've got it hanging like that, you can take your squeegee out and just begin to, with light pressure, just begin to stick that down, making sure there's no wrinkles across this material. Right here, if you're going to get a wrinkle, what you want to do is just run your hand up underneath there and pull it away from the boat and just keep going. Like I said before, the beauty of this stuff is that you can work with it. If you get into a spot where you got a wrinkle, you just put your hand up underneath there like that, push it back off the boat, and just keep right on going. If you were to get to this point and you were having you were fighting a bunch of wrinkles, just pull the whole piece back off, start it over again. Get it where it's hanging nice and straight, and it'll make it a whole lot easier as you're working your way down the boat with a squeegee. Basically just working from the middle. Pull a little bit more of the backing off, working from the middle down towards your edges with light to medium pressure with your squeegee. You can put a little bit of tension down here at the bottom, help pull out some of the wrinkles in the material just by pulling a little bit of pressure on the material as you're squeegeeing with your other hand. Make sure you get it shoved into that rib real good before you continue. Alright, we're going to go over that rib and continue down underneath it, just like we did on the first piece. budget boat kit contains enough material to do both sides of the boat. You get to the standard boat kit and you'll get enough material to do the transom and maybe a console or something. So basically uh, you, want to, uh, you want to look at your boat and measure it. If your boat's more than 18 feet long, you'll probably have to get a standard boat kit. But for uh, 18 feet and under, if you just want to do the sides like we're doing here, uh, the budget boat kit, which is uh, you know three sheets of camo clad, will be be plenty to do the boat. Trim your piece out here, and we'll be ready for the next one. If the surface is prepped right, 
this product will uh, will adhere to this boat for years and years to come. There's the front piece. Basically, all we have to do now is trim it out, and we're done. We'll move on to the other side. Once again, what I do is use these fingers to create that that space. Put my knife right there, and then just keep that same space between my fingers and the edge of the boat as we come up here. Now we're up here to this rib. So we're going to work around this, this rib on the boat. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it out here. And then we'll come in and uh, finish that out. this tip right here. You don't need a little point out there to and that's basically the whole boat done on the side. We'll come back and do the other side and we'll do the transom.